Welcome back to Budget Arts with Shannon. Today we'll be doing another background painting based off of Sailor Moon. This time I chose this one. To start, I'll be using these colors. A light blue. A dark blue I created using this light blue mixed with a tiny drop of black. A green. This one's actually a dark forest green that I picked up at Dollarama and I just added a little bit of white to make it a lighter green. We have white and pink which is this red mixed with white to create this pink. The other pink I had was just a little bit too neon pink for this project so I decided to use this one instead. You'll need a large paintbrush a round brush, kind of like a kabuki makeup brush. This one I got from the makeup section in Walmart, but you can find them easily in your local dollar store as well. They work quite well for blending paint. And a few cotton balls. All right, let's get started. Grab your first color, which in this case will be a light blue. And we're going to use the larger paintbrush so that we can get it all over the middle part. So we're going to start by doing a U shape or kind of a tunnel shape, kind of like this. Again, remember to do the edges. All right, once that's done, we're just going to wipe off the excess onto some paper towel. Next, we're going to get a bit of green, grab the green color, and we're going to put it along the side of the blue part you've just painted. About the width of the brush. It's okay if it starts to blend together. That's something we're going to be doing anyways. Next, grab your cotton ball, pull it apart a bit. You can grab a little bit more color. Pat and blend the two colors together. If the cotton balls start to fall apart like this one and this one here, you can always just grab a new one. And these cotton balls you can also get at the dollar store. This bag I got for only $1.25 from my local Canadian dollar store, Dollarama. Sometimes you'll get little chunks like this and you can just pick it off. You can also grab a little bit more of the blue and blend that in as well. Remember to be gentle or you'll start to see the white seeping through.
So I'm actually not really liking how this is looking. So I'm going to switch to a paintbrush and use this to try and blend it. And that's the great thing about art is it's okay to make mistakes and you can just fix it up and carry on. Yeah, I think this works a little bit better. Okay, so now that that's done, we are going to move on to the next color, which is this dark blue. Don't worry about the streaks or any of the white showing up. This is just the first coat and all of that will be hidden in the second coat. That seems to work a little bit better. I like how it blends out here. And we're going to paint all around the outside. All right, so that's the first coat and that's looking quite good. I think we're all done here and we're just going to let it dry and then we'll come back and do the second coat. Okay, we're back and this is all dry. So it does still have some of these parts that are stuck, but we're gonna try to paint over them. If it doesn't work, it's okay, it's got a texture. It will work out. I created a lighter blue this time for the middle and darkened up the darker blue more as the outside and inside colors were a bit too similar. So we'll start with the light blue. So we're going to go back and forth and then use the tip edge right here and have a look at the edge right here as you're going around. Go around like this, follow the line with the tip. And you can do pulling straight down or you can go back and forth. So watch again, watch the very tip here. I'm going to go around, around, follow the line, and down. All right, I'm going to take some of that green. Oh, that's nice. And just go back and forth until it's a little drier. And see, as I go around, just follow the edge. Follow looking right here and around. As it gets thinner with the paint, you can start to blend it together with the blue here. 
as well as blending it out here. And it's okay to make little, little waves. It doesn't need to be perfectly round. All right, now we're going to take the dark blue and it's okay to put it on the same color. Everything's going to blend together in the end. Oh, that is black. Well, it does have a little bit of a blue hue to it. And you can always do your own colors. You can add some purple in there even a dark green hue, a red. Red could look pretty neat, almost like an Auroran sunset. All right, so we're going to start doing a little bit of blending. So grab your round brush and just do some circles. Kind of spread it outwards. See how it's creating kind of a smokyish look there? That's what we're wanting. So I'm doing kind of a sweep motion like this. Sweep around and out. Around, out, flick. I'm not hitting it too hard. Just kind of flicking it out. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for the inside here. And with this part, you can just do some circles as you want both colors to blend together. And that gives it that bit of smokyish look. All right, so for this next part, we're going to be doing the auroras in a cloud-like look. They are going to be waves across the painting. And again, it's based off of Sailor Moon's Moon Healing Escalation background image. So the auroras in that image are kind of in a wavy across the painting way. So first we take a little bit of white, okay, and we're just going to put it on the edge just like that. And we're just going to dip it and go up, bring it down, and then up again this way. Next part, we're going to be doing it right across the middle, like so. All right, and a little bit coming down here.
All right, not quite done with that yet. Now we're going to add a little bit of pink just underneath the white. Just add it onto your brush. Don't worry about it mixing with the white because we're going to do that anyways. All right, and now for the really cool part. You're gonna take your brown brush and we're going to just flick it up and blend it. Just make sure that you're always going up, even if you're doing little round circles. Sometimes you do really need to drag it. There is a little bit of resistance with the paint. It's not too much of a light touch, so don't be too shy about using pressure to spread it upward. I'm going to dip a little bit of this into the white again and do a few streaks up. All right, so that's our white, and I'm just going to add a little bit more pink here because I do want that pink hue peeking through. Okay, so that's our background and we're going to add a few little stars all around here now. So for the dots of stars, I'm going to use the back of a paintbrush.
You want to kind of keep the stars to the darker parts of the painting because that's where the stars at night would first be visible. All right, so there's our little stars and now we're going to make the big bright stars. So I'm going to start by making this one into a larger circle. So we're going to use a toothpick and pull the white outwards. And you just repeat this for as many stars as you'd like. Oops, you can always just buff it out if you make a mistake of touching the wet paint. All right, and there's your new painting. You can use this as a background as is, or you could paint another picture on top if you're feeling adventurous. You could decide to paint Sailor Moon on there to complete the image. Or if you're not able to paint something like that, you could always print out an image and cut it out and then glue it on uh, and use this as a background. All right, I had a lot of fun painting this. Thank you guys for joining me. And let me know what you guys did and how yours turned out in the comments. Bye!